Hello Wargamers, once again Max from Malaga Wargames with the second part of this masterclass uh, painting tutorial. Now Alex is going to show us how he makes the um, close combat weapons, in this case it's going to be a, an uh, axe, it's going to be icy effects and he's uh, showing us exactly how he's going to make it in uh, around 8 minutes with the airbrush. First of all he just used uh, Thunder Hole blow, Blue Layer, just a, a fine and um, a basic uh, base coat on the axe, and he's gonna start in a moment with uh, um, two different colors. He's gonna paint as well. The axe has uh, some uh, small um, piece of ice, and uh, he's gonna paint it with uh, Stone Burning Fur, and uh, also he's gonna use that color on the base. And the axe, the main body of the axe, he just uh, painted, as we say, with the Thunder Hope Blue. So this is the, well, base coat done. And now he's going to start uh, using a new mix with the new colors from uh, GWB uh, for the thousands, thousands, thousands on, sorry. He's going to use the Ariman Blue, and then he's going to highlight it with the, the Thousand Suns Blue. Alright, so he's gonna prepare the axe, he's gonna use some master tape and he's gonna show us exactly how he's gonna make it. Um, as usual, when you play, apply these techniques, uh, you have to work it out with the darks and uh, lights. And he's gonna use the uh, Jeringel just to mix it. Uh, he already have all the colors uh, pre-mixed with the thinners and, uh, well, he's gonna just uh, use the Jeringel to apply on straight away on the airbrush so it's not gonna be grooms or any obstructions on the needle so now he's uh, gonna make a well mm, really quick prepare with the master tape as usual uh, you just go for the opposites so uh, you are uh, working on on uh, extreme heights highlights and dark areas and he's gonna also protect a little bit the miniature so it's not gonna affect the work that he already done on the armor and everything now he's gonna just use the airbrush you know always just uh, thin layers and uh, repeat and repeat uh, low pressure and uh, be really really cautious and uh, patient with these techniques let it dry and well this is uh, the first layer effect uh, these colors are really the new um, models the new uh, game from uh, GWP for thousand zones uh, it's a good combination of colors and it's really really pumping up the effects to be honest I was so surprised of this combination with the new colors now he's preparing the other side and he's uh, just checking just to do exactly the opposite on the things that he's doing and he just explained here that uh, unfortunately it's too tight for the master tape to fit in so he's gonna do it just on um, you know as he's quite used to do these things he's go straight with all the master tape just taking care and uh, be really cautious about uh, all this scenario. Now a good tip about using the Gellinger is that he's gonna straight away remove all the color from the airbrush and uh, uh, put it back again on the bottle so it's not gonna waste any paint at all and uh, it's gonna be still a, just a little bit a little drop in the airbrush so he's gonna be able now to mix it up with uh, another color to use the next layer um, he's gonna um, use as well a final mix with uh, white just to do an extreme um, highlight and make the color pumping up. Okay, so um, he's using um, <laughs> well, he's gonna use now the, the white, all right. And as uh, he's gonna show us right now, um, even if it's just pure white, what he's uh, put it inside the um, nozzle uh, from the sorry from the nozzle that is gonna be a white, as you can see. 
now it's mixed so it's not going to be a pure white it's going to be just electrical pumping up white and now he's just using the final highlights uh, on the axe which is going to make the hard part and the contrast all right so finishing this part uh, i just want um, if you are interested in, he already have all the colors pre-mixed he's using some uh, kind of um, alcohol uh, mixed with um, window cleaner and in the layers he's using uh, a mix of uh, three shots from the from the pot to the full bottle and on the basis is uh, using uh, five shots of the of the flash all right so here as it's focusing you see the uh, contrast on uh, different layers well this is gonna be a short class all right if you wanna make this pumping up even more then you will have to work on the shadows I mean uh, recess again with a little bit of uh, dark before uh, removing this scenario but this was a training class to show how you can do these effects in a quick way all right without being really um, an expert uh, even if he made a mis the mistake uh, because um, he didn't uh, I mean he cut the master tape uh, without really being uh, care about the lines he's gonna make a final highlight with white so he's gonna correct that defect on the corner of the axe and uh, he's applying right now uh, just the uh, normal highlights with um, H uh, brush a normal technique as usual here you have to be really careful with the free hand uh, just uh, to make fine lines and just on the correct parts on the correct points just to make the miniature pop up and uh, give this uh, three uh, dimensional uh, levels I mean perspective with this H highlights okay last step is gonna make a small thin line on white just uh, for the really really last uh, pop-up effect and then he's gonna work it out on the mistakes or errors with uh, the airbrush as uh, I'm explaining here on the on the video on, on Spanish I was asking him about these small mistakes and he told me straight away like if this is for a client and not just a quick um, master class uh, of course you just measure the tape and don't make the error but it's still is it still fixable as he's gonna show it and so as in a moment sorry but anyway the most important thing you can make yourself the idea about how different uh, contrast you can do with just three colors in an airbrush really mix it and uh, in good proportions just check it out all the time to make the opposites opposite sides if you make a um, um, light darker light on the opposite sides you have to do dark lighter dark easy way and it's working a lot on this scenario on this uh, plane blades and everything okay time to fix it with the airbrush as, as we see right now you have to be really really careful here low pressure no rush small tiny spots first of all always uh, try the airbrush outside the miniature just in case uh, there is any mood on the on the nozzle all right and then we just work out again a quick highlight with the airbrush I mean with the brush sorry the H highlight now he's gonna um, do the lights on the eyes that is uh, just uh, at the bottom of the axe and a little bit of the floor of the miniature at the bottom of the base of the miniature uh, before uh, working out on the base which is gonna be a snow and he's gonna sew the easy way with all the uh, games workshop um, 
materials, the snow, rocks, um, crash, and uh, well, the rest of the stuff. So here you go, here you see the axe, quite okay for just being painted in 8 minutes to be honest. I'm, I'm kind, of, kind of flat, I mean of course you can work harder, uh, make more layers, uh, as we say, um, work the, the dark areas as well, the blacks, and would be even, even better. But as, uh, as we say, for uh, 8 minutes and a quick uh, explanation for everybody, which is more or less uh, able to start using an airbrush and just to practice, you can master class these techniques, to be honest. Alright, so now we're going to work, as you see here, he has in the pot um, snow, rocks, uh, some grass and uh, some... Uh, um, different types of grass or static and uh, the ones on Games Workshop is often in the um, already planet. So this scenario if you want to represent the miniature that is just walking over a snow path that is actually snowing right now the good point is just paint some um, using some glue and use some snow over the miniature uh, this uh, snow from games workshop actually is quite okay just for just resident snow if you don't want to work it out on uh, ice uh, under the snow and he's just basic uh, technique just normal snow there is different ways to use these techniques you can paint the base under it on white you can use uh, white glue with uh, mix it with the snow before just to make it um, more texture on the miniature and then you play again apply again sorry snow just uh, depends if it's recent or if it's uh, time ago and it's already icy. There is different ways to use these techniques and everything but uh, he's using a, a normal standard for a newbie and uh, using a different uh, products on the same uh, base it makes the miniature to earn a lot. If it's uh, just a snow base it's gonna be completely different and now that he's putting some grass he's gonna put some uh, stones as well and then of course you can finish uh, just uh, painting all this stuff okay so this is the final uh, figure the only thing you need to do is just wait uh, let it dry everything and uh, well just some use some varnish to protect the miniature and everything In case you want to apply some transfers or everything, uh, well, there is another different techniques always. He's just uh, making sure that all the snow is uh, already dry on the miniature and just gonna take it outside on better spot of light so you can see all the details. If you want to know more stuff, if you want uh, more masterclass or specific about anything, please leave it comments. And uh, well, we will try to sort it out. Spanish, English, we'll see. Time be. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Muy bien, Wargamers, pues eso es todo por ahora. Como siempre, agradeceríamos que añadierais comentarios. Me importa mucho y agradezco mucho críticas constructivas para mejorar el canal. Me importa sobre todo que añadáis vuestros propios comentarios acerca del material que hemos expuesto en los vídeos, vuestras opiniones, eh, vuestras experiencias, vuestras sugerencias para nuevo material. Me da ideas para construir nuevos vídeos. Me gustaría por favor que compartierais estos vídeos en vuestras eh, redes sociales en caso de que os haya gustado y así podréis, podáis eh, propagar el, eh, el canal y que podamos hacer un crecimiento más exponencial. 
Me gustaría también que si os gustó el material que hemos expuesto me lo demostréis eh, pulsando el botón de me gusta. Eso me ayuda, me da bastantes energías eh, para seguir produciendo material e intentando mejorarme día a día con todo lo que os expongo. Como siempre, invitarte a que si eres nuevo en el canal, te suscribas a él para poder tener acceso a todas las nuevas actualizaciones una vez que somos vídeos a la red. Te invito a que eches un vistazo al resto de vídeos y reproducciones que tenemos en el canal. Hay mucho material que seguramente es interesante para ti. Gracias si habéis llegado con la reproducción del vídeo hasta aquí. Significa que nos estáis aumentando los minutos de visualización, dándole a YouTube idea de que este canal es bastante importante y poniéndolo en las listas top de eh, acceso a nuevo a contenido, sobre todo para gente, recomendaciones y demás, con lo cual nos estáis expandiendo, ayudando a que crezcamos y podamos difundir todo este contenido. Muchas gracias como siempre, desearos que paséis una buena tarde, una buena mañana o una buena noche, dependiendo a qué hora estéis viendo estos vídeos, y como siempre si estéis jugando partidas o pintando, disfruta de lo que estéis haciendo. Happy Wargaming y nos vemos en breve.